Right, we're crossing over the processional route to pick up the track that will take us past the springs, the brooks. And we'll be walking till we come to passing Burrington Coombe. And then we'll head up later up and get onto the top tracks where the um, trick point will be and then we'll work our way down. That's the plan. I hope I've got enough time to do it in. So there we've got Barrington Coombe. We'll just zoom in again. All be done before, of course. All been done before. Yeah, it's a lovely day actually. That breeze is just nice. It's not cold, it's not too fierce. And there's the parade, the processional route I call it, and there's a gentleman just walking down that way. And we've come from over there. I've done a bit of this in June. When I came up from down there, there's a track that leads down to Barrington Coombe. I came up it. And, uh, but I only came up as far as a few bushes here. And then, um, walked back. I think I went up the, the hill fort on that occasion. I'm not sure if, yeah, I think I did. I think I went up the hill fort twice, actually. I came back another time and did it. And then on that occasion, I had gone down the secret steps. So here we are. This is our lush area of outstanding natural beauty, everybody. You come out here to oxygenate your lungs. There we go. We just follow this. We're going to be following this track, following the contours of the area of Sanding Beauty lower down. I have done tracks further up, of course, in the past, loads of times. Uh, in the winter, you can more or less walk right through all that. All the bracken has died down or it's been harvested. And hidden tracks appear in the winter that you can't see now. So you are restricted this time of year to keep into these tracks. Like I said, there'll be snakes and all sorts of crawlies in the ferns. So you're better off staying on the, on the main tracks, even though it's not very big. We have to pass over two brooks, west and east springs, and um, when I came in June, they were quite dry, not completely, because the summer had only just started. But of course, we had a terrible month in July. I've got a feeling I came up from down that way. Now, look how overgrown it is. When I came up, they weren't the ferns weren't anywhere high like this, and you could see all the features. I came up from down there. I can hear people down there now. It is a way up, but it's better to do it in the, in the before the ferns grow, put it that way, because they cover up all the tracks. But there we go, there's parts of Barrington Coombe there. There we go, geology. Of course there's some there's the village down there, there's places where you you can get something to eat and drink. There's a church. Or if it... Yeah, that's right. There's another way. Or it could have been this one I came up. I know I came up one of them. So there's another. There's several that branch off. 
and they lead and what basically what you're doing is following a course of a stream down into the village down into Burrington Coombe basically that's what you're doing and of course you can go you there's other routes that you can go and there's caves and potholes and all sorts of geological features and interests hidden in all these trees they got names and some of them have been labeled when you go in there but like I say it's better to go before the ferns grow because you can see more and you can see where you're going as well I'll be turning off in a minute folks I'm just going to keep it rolling until we get to the first stream and there's another way there's another path taking you down. We're coming up to the stream area now, which I'm expecting to be quite muddy. It can be a bit quagmire-ish when you get rain. And I can hear the stream. Yeah, I can hear the stream now. It's always quite dark down here. Just going to turn off to take a picture a minute and then I'll come back on again. Um, but the stream's down there, trickling down through, down into to Burrington, down into the Coombe. I just want to take a picture. So turn it off for a little while now, folks. I'll be emerging on the other side, climbing up, carrying on more views of Burrington Coombe, plus another stream area. Over and out for right a minute. Then. So this is West Spring. And it's... Not massive, but it's a lot more water than when I came in June, which is also on video, by the way, and probably on YouTube. So up we go. Up. We're still climbing a little bit. And I'm expecting it to be quite overgrown. But because people do walk here, other walkers would have cleared the area a bit, which is good. And there will be other ways to branch off down into the coombe as we go along. You'll probably see, you can't see quite as well, like I said, this time of year because the ferns are very tall and thick and you can't always see the pathways. But like I said, there are little cave areas down there. There is a history and a geology to them. So, and you can find it online. If you just look up Barrington Coombe, it'll tell you loads. Like I said, I'm glad I've recovered a bit to do this. I've had to delay doing a larger walk since the camp camping trip to Cheddar where I did a nine hour walk and I think partly nine hours because I wasn't very good at so I was, I was probably about 50% when I went on that so, but I managed to do it and enjoyed it I expect when it's really bucketing down this will be like a babbling brook this will be water gushing down as well it's a natural thing isn't it water will flow you could walk through that but i think most people do this and it's turning off up just up here by this tree it's once again to go down and join the stream further down you can't see the you can't see the turn-ins, but they are there. We'll be exposed to a lot of sunlight in a minute. And I've walked here in extreme heat before now. I really have. There's a way down to Burrington. And we've just walked from all over there. Enjoying every minute of it. Breathing in the pure oxygen seeing the butterflies and, and the different insects that are about. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Different shrubs have got berries on them. 
and like I say we get quite a lot of exposure for a lot of the walk especially when we're on the top there's nowhere to shelter so in a way we don't want a baking hot day today although I have done it in the heat last year about this time I climbed up Glastonbury Tor in 40 degrees it was a heat wave it was the hottest it had ever been for a long 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 time and I, 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 there weren't many of us up there but I enjoyed it I loved to feel that heat in my bones right then I'll just get up to this tree then I'm going to turn off take some photos We might see Barrington Coombe again in a minute. Like you say, of course, all the vegetation, the trees, the leaves do block some of the landscape this time of year. And there are little paths, even through there you can go and explore. And quite often you get cows here. Those big herds come round here to shelter. So we'll be going out, but there are, what's the only good thing about coming along here, there are the old trees like this, where you can rest and you can take a bit of shade. Yeah, so we're passing that lovely tree. He always welcomes you when you pass by. And then we emerge for a minute and we'll see Burrington Coombe again. And like I said, there are different pathways that you can weave in through to get closer views. There we go, here's quite a good view here. We just stand in here, look. Look at that everyone. Barrington Coombe. The sister of Cheddar Gorge. Not quite as massive as her, the little sister I suppose you could call it. I've walked all along the top there of course in the past. Not a lot of imp done around here. Beautiful That's scenery it. isn't it? I've just had to put the battery charger on using the long lead at the moment which gives me more flexibility because I can put the charger in my pocket. The camera can some, sometimes play up and won't allow me to charge it at all but I have brought the small Sony but that one's will only do video but video is better than nothing anyway we're, what we're doing we're going to a little shaded area now and we're coming to the East Spring I think it's got a special name but uh, I know it's their West and East um, once again, quite quite muddy. It gets obviously churned up by people walking, so it gets more muddy and more slippery because of people walking, churning it up, you see. But you do have to be careful. But someone's done a little path there, that was handy. Otherwise, look at that. I mean, some people come with really good strong waterproof shoes and boots and they just plow through it something I haven't got these are the last year of these I would have thought I will still use them I will still use them but I wonder if we should go up it's very very slippery um, Might be able to get up and around. Looks like someone else has done a path here. Which we can follow to a certain extent. So we don't have to go through that squelch. I haven't done this before. Normally we walk through there. And I, I've, I have had decent walking boots where you can just do that. I've still got them. But most of them have lost their waterproofness now. Or they've got holes in them.
Yeah, so we're getting down there. It's best to take your time. I mean, you can rush these things, but look how slippery it is. I'll need to get down there without slipping in a second. So, looks like that stone is a good place to. That's it. It's good to see that it's replenished with some water, this place. It is like a little oasis, really, of, um, for the plants. Oh yes, it's really quite happy and noisy today. Yeah, that's good. I don't think we're going to have any more heat waves this year, so I think this place is safe now. Of course, since breaking my wrist in 30th of January this year, when I was only just walking along and tripped on a stone, sticking up out of the curb, but it really shook me up actually, I banged my head as well, it was, I was lucky I didn't get run over as I flew into the road trying to stop myself from falling. <sighs> yeah, so here we are folks, this is uh, the East Stream or East Brook, could be called East Brook. And this will once again be going down to Burrington Coombe. As eventually, it probably links up with Banwell or somewhere like that and goes out to sea, I, I don't really know. Lovely though, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Right, I'm going to stop and take a picture. Overnight.